The SEC approved a NASDAQ rule that would require companies to list the diverse members of their, of their boards of directors. SEC is essentially admitting to social engineering, which falls outside of the scope of its enabling statute. Can the SEC tell American corporations who should be on their boards of directors? The answer to that question is no. So there seems to be this notion that goes along with woke ideology that it's okay to discriminate. In fact, it's required to discriminate on the basis of race, sex, and orientation as long as you discriminate against white people, guys, and straight people. Well, it turns out that's just wrong. NCPPR is challenging the SEC board diversity rules because there is no law or statute that gives the SEC authority to tell American companies who should be on their boards of directors. We are shareholder activists. Many years we've been pretty much the only people standing on the, on the watchtower warning of the coming woke takeover of corporations. Uh, and we do that by submitting shareholder proposals to companies and interacting with, with C-suites and corporate boards to remind them that their fiduciary responsibility is to look out for the best financial interests of the company and not to introduce their personal policy preferences into decision making. The Securities and Exchange Commission approved a rule issued by the NASDAQ Stock Exchange, the diversity rule. That rule requires a company that's listed on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange to have on the board of directors an individual who self-identifies as a woman. The board must also have another person who self-identifies as a minority or as LGBTQ+. The diversity rules fall outside of the SEC's authority to regulate under the 1934 Security Exchange Act, which empowers the SEC to regulate securities to ensure honest markets and to enforce federal fraud laws. These laws are being misinterpreted by the SEC today. Diversity quotas are unquestionably illegal. Establishing quotas for the minimum number of, of employees on the basis of race, sex, orientation, that's all super illegal. These rules are a serious First Amendment violation. An American company that does not meet the SEC board diversity requirements is forced to explain why it does not meet those requirements. That is compelled speech and that is forbidden by the Constitution. New Civil Liberties Alliance is particularly interested in the question of administrative power. If the company doesn't follow these rules, they are subject to being delisted from the stock exchange of their choice, in this case, NASDAQ. Delisting is a serious penalty that can have devastating consequences for a company and its stock value. Enforcing diversity through top-down regulation is a sure recipe for conformity. We all have not only civil rights, but the same civil rights, and that means no discrimination, full stop. SEC cannot evade these constitutional constraints by arrogating power to itself or by delegating power to NASDAQ to accomplish indirectly what Congress itself cannot do directly.